almost it's Thursday, so by this time we want to be seeing him responding pretty well to the pressure collar. Sit. Good boy. Let's go. Down. Good boy. So I just barely touched that leash to give him the signal that I want him to go into a down position. And so now I'm just going to walk away from him. And he knows that he's waiting for the release word at this point um, to be able to get up from that position or to come with me. So. I can walk around him. Good job. And you'll notice that we're not giving quite as many treats. He'll probably be giving treats over the weekend just because, you know, you're talking, um, you know, a new handler. So he may need some reinforcement. No. Down. So we don't want him getting up when I touch the leash. Down. Good. So I'll practice that a couple of times, touching the leash. Good. He didn't get up that time. Good boy. Give him a little pat on the head. He's a good boy. So even if I move this leash around and pull on it, he's still not supposed to get up until I say, let's go. Good boy. So we've also taught him to go to place. Place. Good job. And stay on place. It will help if you get him into a down, although I don't like to do sit or down on place mainly because I don't want to have to monitor what he's doing. My main thing is I just don't want him to be getting off of it or getting any of his paws off. So pretty much as long as he's staying on there, he's doing good. Good job. So I'm going to go make a distraction and knock on the door. So that's what we want to see with Apollo uh, for his stay in place so that you can answer the door without him running out. And um, he's generally good at thresholds and his walk is really nice as well. Yep, good job, buddy. Good. The more we practice this, uh, the you know, stronger this will get over time as well as um, with distractions as well. So. That's what we'll be working on. See you Friday.